Peggy 18. Welcome to the Avenger. She's a repurposed alien transport ship. Should make for the perfect mobile HQ. Once we get her finished, that is. From here, we can strike against alien positions across the globe. She's not without her quirks, though. If you listen to Shen, the ship has a mind of its own. And I don't mean the AI. We've been reclaiming it piece by piece, but we've still got plenty of work ahead of us. So far, we've managed to outfit her with everything we thought you'd need to get started, along with some new additions I think you'll approve of. Which reminds me, you'd better head down to the lab. You'll want to meet Dr. Tigan. There's a few things you two should discuss. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit, a device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Tigan's one of the best minds on the planet. Glad he saw the light and came over to the right side. Still, he's not kidding about needing that support. With Advent controlling most of the world, it's not just resources that are scarce, but manpower too. We're running a skeleton crew right now, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to assign the staff we do have. Genetic research has come a long way since you've been gone. Given time and effort, there's no telling what kind of enhancements we'll be able to provide our soldiers. Smart move. They should be able to patch up our troops more efficiently and get them back into the fight even faster. As smart as he is, Tigan's research can only go so far without a solid engineering team to back him up. You better check in on Shen. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. There. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Wouldn't even be this far along if it weren't for her. With your support, I know she'll make her father proud. Proving Grounds, Shen's name, and not far off. With resources being so scarce these days, her people have had to get creative with their designs. Ammo, explosives, armor, 
The end result isn't always predictable, but so far it's been damn effective. Nice. If you're really itching to give that ammo a try, assign an extra engineer to work on the project. Good call. That will cut down our manufacturing time significantly. Research and manufacturing are a key part of the process, but at the end of the day, it takes soldiers to win a war. Picked up a few tricks over the years, put them to use here. Advent's got us outgunned and outnumbered, so we had to adapt. Specialize our training and tactics to target their weaknesses and play up our strengths. Rangers, operate in the shadows. They like to handle things uh, up close and personal. It's gonna take everyone we've got to win this war. Our soldiers performed admirably in the op to get you back, Commander. We should check in on them at the armory. first deployed these gremlins, we had no idea how effective they'd be in combat. And our specialists continue to take them to new levels. We can configure the drones to provide remote medical triage or tailor them to dish out some serious punishment to the enemy. Can't go wrong either way, Commander. Gone are the days when we had a flood of new recruits coming in from nations around the world. It's on us now to build an effective fighting force out of what's left of humanity. We're pulling from all walks of life these days. Civilians, combat vets, and everyone in between. I can't say I'd ever imagined seeing some of these recruits in an XCOM uniform back in the day. Still, they've got the guts to go up against Advent, and that's enough for me. Well, that and some big guns. That part we do have covered. The last human-run manufacturing plant shut down about 20 years ago, which makes getting hold of replacement parts tougher every day. So we improvise. Take what we can from the enemy and turn it right back against them. Works for me. Well, Commander, now that you've got a handle on the tools at your disposal, we should discuss how to put them to use. If you'll do... Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. It's on a secure channel. Patching it through to your quarters now. Hello, Commander. It is good to see you again. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Save our world. Time is short, Commander. Good luck. So much for easing into things. We better get started. The aliens may have the world in their grip, but a small number of us are trying to change that. Right now, we're in scattered pockets. We need to get organized. Tigan's work is the first step in that process. Good. We just went live. Already getting a read on a few regions. We can't be everywhere at once, Commander. We need to choose our moves carefully, help our allies while disrupting enemy operations to build the resistance. En route. It's gonna take time to get actionable intel on the area, Commander. Our operatives need to make contact with the locals and get the lowdown on the enemy. Looks like Shen's people came through. Looking forward to putting these to use. 
There's word of a supply depot not too far from our position. We can head there now or try establishing contact with another region. Good call, Commander. We'll need every resource we can get if we're gonna take the aliens down. We can travel to a new region or continue to investigate activity here. Say the word, Commander, and we'll make contact. Getting intel on some enemy Black Ops projects. This is the stuff that doesn't make the headlines, and they never end well. We won't have time to strike them all, so we need to choose which project we target carefully. Multiple hits on the Resistance comms, Commander. Raids like these are our best bet at uncovering what Advent's really up to. Got a lot of activity on the board right now, so just give the word. We're on it. <laughs>